Good evening, everybody. From Singapore. So we're kind of ashamed to admit we spent our first day in Singapore, most of our first day, just indoors. Uh, we had a lot of stuff to catch up with, um, including entry requirements for Vietnam. We talked to family. Uh, we worked. So, <laughs> so this video is a little bit different from usual, but uh, there is supposed to be a really good hawker center, like one of the top five in the city. The hawker center is where they have food stalls, and a ton of different things to eat. So it's supposed to be a 15 minute walk from here. What do you think? It's supposed to be one of the top five hawker centers in all of Singapore, so high expectations. Kind of a weird feeling to come up to a hawker stall like this and see nothing but Mercedes, BMW, Lexus. It's crazy. This place is massive and there's so many people here. Every single table is packed. overwhelming food choices I've ever had to do. There's just so much food here. And it's really neat that every single restaurant here has a hygiene rating. So everything is incredibly clean. Like we're kind of sitting in this alleyway here and it's really nice. All right, so I finally settled on shredded chicken for fun, which is these rice noodles and kind of like a red chili sauce with uh, shredded chicken on it. It looks really good. It's a little spicy. Not too bad though. Um, it kind of has like the very first taste you get when you eat um, like pad thai. Where it's slightly sweet, a little bit spicy, and the noodles are um, chewy and warm. And the shredded chicken is boiled and really good. It kind of looks like you put like a soy sauce on top of that too. Overall, this is a nice light noodle dip. I really like this. Yours looks really good. This smells really good. This is a red chili chicken ramen, and it looks like the chicken is fried. It smells so good. This whole this whole center smells really good. There's the aroma of a ton of spices and herbs. It's really good. All right. I don't know where this kind of dish originates, if it's Singaporean or if it came from somewhere else. This is, I mean, not the ramen is really, really good. It has a ton of flavor to it. Whatever broth they use, it's like a very nice um, chicken broth. This, the chili is actually not that spicy. It's just a little bit of a kick. It's more savory with just a spicy edge to it than it is where it's just like the spice hits you really hard like some other dishes. This is awesome. This is, Singapore is getting off to a really good start with food. <laughs> wow, that's really dark broth. Turns out there's a lot of chili sauce in here. <laughs> What did you call this? Hawthorn juice. Hawthorn? Is that like a berry or a leaf? I have no idea. Taste, it's really sweet and it very like herbally, like in the best way. Okay, Shavio's dared me to eat one of these peppers. They're green, so they can't possibly be as hot. It's really not that bad. It tastes, it tastes like almost pickled. Oh, that's good. I think having it pickled made it more mild, but there's still definitely a kick to it. I'm gonna try one. That's a banana pepper. That is sweet, that's not even hot. 
was really good and we're nowhere near full so we're gonna get more food. What are you getting? Fried oysters? I never had an oyster before. Ooh. Okay, the man who runs that stall is a very no-nonsense kind of guy. You just have to know exactly what you want, what size you want, um, and then he kind of just throws a token at you and says come back in 10 minutes. about the history of the stall. So the stall is called, what, the best oysters in airport? Like original airport original oysters. Original airport oysters or whatnot. And he has a whole bunch of articles talking about how good they are. And on one of them it says, check out the rivalry they have with their neighboring stall. It's as juicy as the oysters. And if you look over at the stall right next door, it says, real oysters, 1991, say no to fake. <laughs> I went to the wrong stall apparently. Oh man, it's so great. I love it. I love it. So I got fried oyster egg omelet. And their oysters are very chunky looking. You've really never had oysters? I've never had oysters. Will I like it? I don't know. Should I just knock it back? Yeah. It's great. It's the texture. Oh, it's so slimy. It's like an eyeball or something. What do you think? It's okay. The taste really isn't bad. It's like biting into a really soft grape that just kind of explodes. Imagine it tasting like fish in salt water. <laughs> Let me try the egg first before I keep chewing. Ooh, eat a piece of oyster. The really chunky taste of the fried omelet. Because the omelet has a ton of texture to it and crunch, so it hides the weird texture of the oyster. That's good. Together there, that's really good. So I got uh, curry chicken rice, and I'm pretty confident with <laughs> Tia's reaction to the oysters that I'm not going to end up eating that much of this, so I'm going to enjoy the first few bites. Hey, I said I liked it! Mm. So the chicken, as always, is excellent. The curry is really interesting. It tastes much more like a gravy. It's less like a Thai curry or an Indian curry. Does it taste like my mom's curry? Yeah, kind of, maybe like a Japanese curry, but it's... It's really good. It's a little bit sweet at first, but just a little bit. And then mostly savory with like a tiny bit of spicy just at the end. So do you like this version of curry more or do you like like a coconut curry more? It depends on the mood, I think. Mm. I like how light and healthy coconut curries taste. This is definitely more in like a comfort food category, but it's still really good nevertheless. So this is a sweet plum, sour, sour plum. plum. Tia got this on him. <laughs> Did you mix it? Are you supposed to mix it? Wait, is it really sour? It's kind of odd. It does taste like plum juice, but it's also sour, but not the same way that a lemon would be sour. You know how like a uh, lemon sports drink, like Gatorade or something like that tastes? Yeah. Like it's a fake lemony? It sort of tastes like that. <laughs> it's interesting, it's interesting. All right, now we are on the hunt for dessert. And Shabia is going for <laughs> strawberry soursop juice for his dessert. Some would argue that a smoothie is not dessert, but who's the critic here? 
So this is my dessert. Um, this is like the, the pastry shop specialized in cheesecakes, but they only sell like cheesecakes in the big, like big boxes of cheesecake. And I talked myself out of that one. Just barely. So let's say I got a cheesecake muffin. I was expecting more of the, the tanginess of like um, cheesecake in here. Which kind of tastes like a sweet muffin, which I mean in itself is a great dessert. Look how cute that lid is! You got a little Draymond! So I got strawberry soursop juice. It's a soursop. I have no idea, that's why I got it. They had those big giant green spiky things. Yeah, I think I think so. There's a picture of it there. Oh, that's so, so good. Oh, that's delicious. Is it like sour? There's definitely like a yogurt type of drink in here, but it, it's a little bit sour, but the strawberry, it's just a perfect combination. Mm. <laughs> that's so good. You want to try it? Sure. props for dessert. I was making fun of you earlier for getting a smoothie for dessert. But this is actually my top, my muffin. Okay, give it back. Tia, this place is awesome. We ate four meals, three drinks, and a muffin in the last like two and a half hours. And it was under $12 for everything. Not as cheap as some places, but that's still a heck of a good deal. And the portions were huge. Also something I really noticed was there's such a variety yeah. of all the different, I mean, you can get pretty much any kind of Asian food you can think of. And what, there's some Western food. There were a couple too. Western places. Yeah, there's just so um, much variety. I definitely want to come back and try the Thai food and the mm -hmm. Indonesian food and see how it actually compares to like Bali or Thailand. Okay, so tomorrow is the sightseeing day, so stay yeah. tuned for that. Yeah, we're actually going to get out tomorrow. All right, thanks you guys for coming with us today, and we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! And on one of them it says, check out the Rye Brewery. Ugh.